Hey guys, what's going on? It's Salvage here, and holy crap, I am I'm back. I am hyped. Listen, we got a lot of info about yesterday uh, at the PlayStation Showcase. Honestly, I just need to get back into YouTube. My last video, get this, uh, this is I was shocked at this info. My last like proper video of me like actually edi editing something and putting it together was back in November, like November 29th, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's insane, okay? I've been through a lot. I, I've actually been through so much in the last, uh, what is that, nine months or some shit. And it's just, it's this insanity that I, I haven't been able to really get, bring myself to make a video about anything. But holy shit, yesterday at the PlayStation Showcase, we finally got so much info about not only Spider-Man 2, but we also got the reveal for a fucking Wolverine game, which is just phenomenal. That is just the biggest shocker of everything. And we got God of War uh, Ragnarok. And honestly, I know a lot of people don't know this, but God of War is probably my favorite game ever. Like, I'm trying to think about a game that I love more. I know, like, I love Arkham City, but, like, besides superhero games, if I'm just talking about games in general... God of War uh, 2018, even God of War 3, those two games are so fucking good. I just love those games so much, and uh, they, they will always hold a, a, a special place in my heart. So, you know, what I'm going to be doing now is going to be talking about, you know, God of War uh, for the future of my channel. I'm going to be talking about God of War, Ragnarok, uh, whatever sequels they have. I'm going to be theorizing, you know, dropping info and, and finding news and whatnot, rumors and stuff like that. Uh, I wanted to go into that because, honestly, this game looks fantastic. They revamped the the combat. It looks phenomenal. Like, the, the new improvements that they have there's so many things that i could go into like kratos jumping off a ledge and doing some crazy shit like what, what that what i'm sorry just that alone for the combat makes me super hyped um you know all the new enemy types that we've we've been getting like we have a minotaur i think like it, it just looks amazing like this giant lizard i don't know what the fuck's going on uh we also have freya doing some crazy stuff and a bunch of new characters new environments the environments that we see actually look lived in which i mean they actually look like they're they're you know actually lived in like there's people there walking around like we haven't ever seen that before at least in this franchise uh, or this part of the franchise for the trilogy or i mean it's actually apparently it's not even going to be a trilogy but for this uh, uh part of the the franchise for the norse part of the God of War franchise, of course, we actually get to see people or in, in a community, which is just, it's mind-blowing, because the, for the first game, for God of War 2018, like, the only places that were really, uh, you know, populized were Alfheim and Helheim, but Helheim was all dead people, and Alfheim was just a war, and you never really get to interact with anybody. Uh, for this case, I'm pretty sure it's like the elf, or, the, you know, where the elves live. I don't really understand the whole Norse mythology thing, but I'm pretty sure that has something to do with that, because we do see a bunch of characters like Brock and Sindri, and like this new dwarf. So, uh, I'm sorry, it's the dwarfs, that's the dwarf realm. But either way, this, this entire game looks phenomenal. I'm loving what they're doing with Atreus. I'm loving that he's, you know, he's wanting to, like, really go to war. <laughs> like, it's kind of crazy how, how uh, there's this one line where he's just like, you need to stop acting like a father and act more like a general. And, like, Kratos is like, no, what the, f what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> I just love that little interaction because, of course, Kratos throughout the entire last game was, like, totally not really set on continuing the cycle of violence. But, I mean, it was eventually going to happen, especially since Loki is one of the main uh, uh, characters in North mythology that literally leads the army to uh, Odin during Ragnarok. So, of course, that is something that's very, very important and something that, of course, is going to be addressed in this game, and I cannot wait. We also got a Wolverine reveal, which... what. Like, I, there was, like, days before this showcase, they were literally talking about, or there was, like, a, something on Twitter, I'll probably put it on screen, where they were talking about there was going to be, like, a new IP that was going to, like, completely break the internet. And this is definitely something that could break the internet. Insomniac making a, a Wolverine game is just, it's so shocking. It's, like, kind of oddball. Like, why Wolverine? I don't know. I don't really care. It looks awesome. Like, at least from what we've seen, like, the, the environment. Apparently, it might be in a... It, I think it's in India or some shit like that. Uh, I'm not really sure. But, you know, if you look at the writings on a wall, there's different foreign languages and whatnot. And it actually looks very, very uh, interesting. Like, I'm very excited to see what they're going to be doing with the Wolverine character. And it's also connected to Spider-Man... 
PS4. It's connected to that universe. So this is basically the, the start of the Marvel gaming universe because Avengers is connected to Spider-Man. And obviously, we're going to be getting Spider-Man later this year. Uh, I mean, it already is later this year. Sometime in, like, you know, the winter or fall. So, you know, it's already confirmed that Avengers is not even near Spider-Man PS4. So this Wolverine game is going to be the first connection that we have outside of Spider-Man PS4 to Spider-Man PS4. So it's it's going to be very interesting to see how they uh, do it, how they connect different characters. Maybe they'll bring in some X-Men characters. Maybe they, they'll add some Avengers characters. There was, of course, the Easter egg uh, showing Hulk 187. Uh, that was a comic Easter egg where Wolverine made his first appearance. But, you know, it would be kind of cool if we got a Hulk boss battle in this game. And it honestly wouldn't be that bad of an idea to do so. So, you know, I'm really excited to see what they're going to be doing with this character. I hope that they do add a lot more lore to this world into this whole entire universe. I hope they do something incredible, and I'm sure they're going to. It's Insomniac. They have such a massive team. They're releasing games, like, yearly. It's insane what they're doing. <laughs> it's actually bizarre and, and impressive what they're doing, and I love it. I can't wait to see what they're going to be doing. And now the big one, Spider-Man 2. Oh, my. Oh, my God. God, oh, it's exactly what I wanted. Miles and Peter versus Venom. Uh, Craven's going to be in this game. I mean, the, the person narrating the, the trailer is basically Craven. And honestly, if I'm going to make uh, make a guess, I'm pretty sure Craven's just going to New York to find Venom and fight and kill Venom. Like, that could be the only logical reasoning. Why, like, it, maybe he'll go and try to fight Spider-Man or both the Spider-Man, but in my opinion, I think if Craven wanted a big hunt, it's going to be Venom. And, uh, you know, since Venom is most likely going to be Eddie Brock. Peter's going to be trying to save him. And, you know, it's going to be a whole conflict there. And I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited. I genuinely cannot wait for all these games. Unfortunately, Spider-Man PS5, or I'm sorry, Spider-Man 2, I'm just going to call it Spider-Man 2, uh, is going to be coming out in 2023. Wolverine is probably going to be coming out in like 2020, like late 2023, most likely 2024. But let's just be honest. Let's not hold our breaths and like say 2023. Let's just, let's just, you know, hope that it comes out in 2024 because you know the, the longer they make this game the better quality it's going to be and honestly if they're going to be making like the first like legitimate wolverine game that's not connected to any movies it's not a movie tie-in you know i really hope that they take their time and they really flush it out and i genuinely hope that wolverine game is freaking rated r or rated m like it, it wouldn't be the same if it's rated pg or <laughs> rated what uh, teen for teen or, or i don't know what the fuck it is so i am genuinely excited about all these games uh, if I were to have to choose one that I'm most excited about, it, it's definitely God of War. Um, I, I really love that franchise, and I, I can't wait to see what they do with these characters. And honestly, Spider-Man 2, I just hope that they do a bunch of crazy shit with all these characters. Like, I, I genuinely hope there's dual play. I hope that, you know, there's kind of branching storylines between Miles and Peter. But we'll see, you know. We still have a lot of time to be getting hype for these games. And the fact that they showed them off so early... It's shocking. I'm pretty sure God of War is coming out next year, so that's fine. You know, they could show all they want. I mean, they already had, like, a full gameplay trailer, and, I mean, that was, like, full three minutes of, of just God of War. That was fucking badass. I love it. So, you know, we're, we're going to be seeing a lot more of God of War. Um, Spider-Man, we're probably not going to be seeing for a while. I, I genuinely doubt we're not going to we're gonna see that, like, we're probably going to see that at the end of 2020, right? That's probably the next time we're going to be seeing that game. But overall... These games are coming. These games are happening. And I'm genuinely excited for the future of Marvel video games because we have Guardians of the Galaxy. I know that doesn't really look that good. And you can only play as Peter Quill. So it's kind of meh. But, you know, it's still a Guardians of the Galaxy game. We got, like, Gotham Knights. We have, uh, I mean, I know it's not a Marvel game, but we have a bunch of superhero games. We have Suicide Squad. We have fucking Wolverine. <laughs> like, what? And we have um, Spider-Man 2. It's amazing. Like I'm really excited to see what they're going to be doing, and I really hope that the competition between DC and Marvel keeps going back and forth. I hope they keep making more and more games. It is an exciting time to be a fan, and I genuinely cannot wait to see what you know comes out of all of this info. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I'm back. I'm going to be trying to make more videos, theorized videos, shit like that, uh, anything that I can because I, I feel like I need to get back into the grind of YouTube. Just something to keep my mind off other shit because I just wanna I just wanna do something. You know? I wanna see how far I could go with this YouTube thing again. You know, maybe I could keep going and do something fucking crazy. Who knows? But tell me what you guys in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos in the future. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.